Hi friends, in the previous video we have seen about the ng class and ng style attribute directives and how we can apply the class dynamically to an element and also how we can apply the styles also to an element we have seen right. Now we will see another important directive that is nothing but ng for. So how where we will be using this ng for we will see. Here if I go to the output here, if I am adding a user we are just creating the user but here the users we are not getting uh, we are not updating that one okay now we will try to whenever we add the user we will try to add the user here automatically so how we can do this one by by looping the number by, by looping all the users we will be showing all the users we will be showing by looping all the users array we, we, we can show the users now what i will try to do is here i will go to the users component okay we are having all the users array here right so i can go to the users component dot ts and i i can go here how i can go here i will try to use users as an array and i will keep some user one and also user two so default user one and user two i will keep user one and user two in this array now what i will try to do is whenever we create a user okay whenever we are creating a user so on update user okay whenever we are creating the user we will try to do the on update user this one only right so change created uh, or otherwise on change create change user created status so i think this is the uh, when we are clicking the button so this is the button we are clicking add user so this is the method it is executing so in this method on creating user when the user is created i will make it as true so i will change the status or other there is no need of status here i think and i can change this status also now what i will try to do is so here this dot users okay dot push of what i will try to push this dot username so i will try to push the username whatever the username it has been created i will try to push the username okay so now we have added a list we have we have we have a list of users whenever we whenever we are creating the user we are pushing the users into the user into the user array fine so now we have a user sub data so now we have a data of users now what i need to do is here we are just statically replicating the data now what i can do is here i can remove this one and i need depending on the users what i have the users in my array so if i loop over that user array those, those many times if that app if and user component is there so then it will be better for us so how can i loop over this one is using star ng for okay so yeah, remember that i used star here means that it is manipulating the dom that means it is adding the components right so that is why it's a structural directory it is adding the components so that is the reason ng for so ng for okay you can use let sir user of users okay so we can use let user of users so we are having users of users so that means we are taking the users array and we are adding each user here so we just like for off loop what we have in the vanilla javascript that is it now right now we do we are not passing this uh, we are not passing the user data into that one we need to show that user name also for example here uh, i need to show that uh, user with the name uh, I can show that uh, something like uh, user with name as Leela is something like that. So I need to yeah, add this name as a dynamic. So we will go further how we can pass the data to the component. We will go in the next videos and all those things we will see. So right now let's think that ng for it is looping over. So it is showing the data. Now if you see here right now at the default we are having two users means. So we need to show we, we, can, we, we have to show two users only. So here user with name Lila is offline. So forget about the name. We are not adding. So we will make it dynamic. So now here we have made it. We have looped over two things. Now when I when I add the user here, automatically one has to be upgraded. See, one has to be updated. Now if I go on adding like this, automatically the users are getting added. But we need to add that name, whatever the name he has given, we need to add it here. So we will add it to the next thing. How we can pass the data, we will see that one. So this is how we can loop over the data using ng for loop remember this one so what we have what we have did here so just we have 
took care of the users array and we have added uh, once a dummy users and whenever we are creating a user i am pushing that user username into that user array so now what i am doing here so the app iphone user all the time i am looping over the user array i am looping over that user array and i am i am looping over that one so how many users are there so those many times app iphone user component will be created here previously we have added three times three times right so like that automatically dynamically it will be added so passing the data of user to this component we'll see afterwards so this is how we can loop over the components or otherwise any div or anything so using ng for loop it's a structural directory why because it is adding the elements in the dom okay so this is about the ng for loop in the angular so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you